Today, we're going to be discussing watermarks. Cloudflare Stream gives you the unique ability to add custom branding and logos like this to your videos. You can change things like the opacity, modify the scale or size of your watermark, adjust the position to your liking, and even tweak the padding to get it placed in the exact location that you want. Before we get started, it's important to check out the Cloudflare documentation for Stream to get a better idea of what exact settings you can change. Creating a watermark is a two-step process. Step one is we create a reusable watermark profile to apply to our videos. And step two is to upload a video with that watermark. Let's look at the first step. We go to the dash, select stream videos, and we know our account ID. This is one piece required to make the request. Additionally, in the top right, we'll go to my profile, select API tokens, and create a token if we don't already have one, which will also be used to authenticate the request. In this demo, we're going to be using a popular API client tool known as Postman, but you're more than welcome to use something like Curl as well. I've gone ahead and pre-created this watermark, which will be applied to our videos. If you want, you can go ahead and create one. Change the HTTP request to a post request and note the following URL. This is the URL that you can pull from the Cloudflare stream documentation that's going to be used to create the watermark profile. Note the account ID, which we grabbed from the dash previously. Additionally, we're going to go to authorization and change the type to bearer token and also place the token here. In this case, I'm using environment variables. The API docs specify a series of optional parameters that we can apply. The first thing I want to do is set the file key and change from text to file and upload the watermark. Additionally, I'm going to override some of the defaults like the name to apply a unique name to the watermark. I'm also going to apply an opacity change which changes the transparency of the watermark that we apply to the image to 0.5. Once we send the request and look at the response body, there are a few interesting things that we can note. The name has been applied, the opacity has been applied, and the padding, scale, and position all inherit default values. We want to remember the UID, which will be used as a reference as we upload our video. For uploading our video, we're going to install an optional client that supports uploading large videos using the TUS protocol. Once you install TUS, you can now interface with Cloudflare directly. The first thing we want to do is specify the chunk size. TUS operates by uploading segments of your file to Cloudflare. Additionally, we can attach the bearer token, which is the token that we pulled from the dash, and we can start adding our metadata. The first piece of metadata is the watermark UID. This is the UID that we pulled from the response. We can add additional metadata parameters that are listed in the documentation. This one is going to be the name of the video that we upload to Cloudflare Stream. You're going to want to make sure that you have a video file already prepared. I have one stored on my desktop. The final thing is to specify the endpoint that we want to upload the video to. api.cloudflare.com slash client slash v4 slash accounts, the account ID that we pulled from the dashboard slash stream. Depending on the size of the video that you are uploading will dictate how long this process takes. TUS upload will start uploading this file in chunks unless your video is either at the chunk size or below the chunk size. We can navigate back to the dash and see that our video has been uploaded and the watermark has been applied successfully. If you navigate to the JSON response body, you'll also see the watermark metadata has been included. 